we're embarrassed. They whooped us. They manhandled us. These are some of the descriptives Matt LaFleur used when talking about the Detroit Lions coming into Green Bay and what they did to them last night. Guys, take a second to subscribe. Okay, so so let's get into it. I was first in line when the Detroit Lions hired Dan Campbell as their head coach laughing. And, and I, I looked at the interview, I laughed, I replayed the interview and I was like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. This is exactly what Detroit needs. Another clown running their franchise. I thought he was a moron, but guess what? I'm the moron for laughing. Okay. So let's listen to the interview and what he had to say. This team's going to be built on, uh, we're going to kick you in the teeth. All right. And when you punch us back, we're going to smile at you. And when you knock us down, we're going to get up. And on the way up, we're going to bite a kneecap off. All right. And we're going to stand up and then it's going to take two more shots to knock us down. All right. And on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap and we're going to get up and then it's going to take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're going to take another hunk out of you before before long. We're going to be the last one standing. OK, well. You know what? So the Detroit Lions take an early control over the NFC North, and he is the last one standing at the moment. Yes, I know it's early, and we're only four weeks into the season, so there's a lot of football to be had. And so the bright spot is that I think as Packer fans, we can exp expect some change. And what do I mean by that? Okay, so Matt LaFleur uh, was interviewed, and this is what he had to say. So Matt LaFleur, when talking about the defense, he said, we're going to have to do something different. It's insane to do the same things over and over again and expect different results. That's one of the biggest offensive. That's one of the best offensive lines in football, but it's still inexcusable. You should be able to take one phase away. If you want to stop the run, commit to that. Make them throw over your head. You can sense the you can sense the frustration there. It's it's laughable because he's he's 100 percent right. I mean, the Packers have a ton of talent when it comes to their defense. Yes, they are young, okay? But there are some vets there that are good, you know, like like Preston Smith, Kenny Clark, guys like that, leaders like that. Yes, they were out, Devondre Campbell and Alexander. I get that. But it's absolutely inexcusable the way that Detroit just ran over the Packers. Okay. So let's take a look at the box score. Okay. So let's look at what the Detroit Lions put up yesterday. Okay. So the Detroit Lions, um, they put up a total of just over 400 yards of total offense. Again, again, we see this from another team. Okay. We saw it with the Atlanta Falcons and we see it with the Detroit Lions. Uh, inexcusable. Okay, so Montgomery rushes for 121 yards, three touchdowns. An absolute joke. Aaron Jones, five carries, 18 yards. Dylan, five carries, 11 yards. Okay, so let's talk about, for a moment, let's talk about the beginning of the game. Okay, Packers, at, that, at the end of the half, they had 21 yards of total offense going into halftime. 21 yards of total offense. The first seven plays of the game they passed, I was... Where's Aaron Jones? We get the guy back. Let's use him. He's a weapon. He's a Lions killer. Everybody knows that. That Aaron Jones just absolutely annihilates the Lions anytime he's out on the field. I bet the Lions were certainly happy as well as their fan base because Aaron Jones didn't even touch the ball. I get he's coming off of an injury, so you've got to ease him back in. But And, and you know that the, the Detroit Lions have a good defensive line, but oh my God. Don't shoot yourselves in the foot by removing him from the game plan altogether, unless he wasn't part of the game plan, which that's a bigger problem if that's the case. Let's talk about special teams for a second. Keyshawn Nixon, stay in the end zone. Take a knee. The Packers started out and in deep into their territory more times than, than I care to recount. It was ridiculous. On top of that, you add penalties, which then back them up even further. Again, talk about Jordan Love. Okay, so Jordan Love. He looked good at times, and then other times he looked abysmal. Okay, he hung onto the ball too long. He almost took a safety by hanging onto the ball too long. Through two terrible interceptions that were completely his fault. Douglas, Douglas was supposed to be our reliable corner. He falls down on a couple of plays. I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, you're at home, so you should have the right. I didn't see any Detroit Lions slipping out there. It, it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But the most embarrassing portion of the whole thing. 
was the defense. It was the defense. I couldn't believe that, you know, let's just take a look. Let's take a look at a highlight here. Um, one of the many highlights of the game. The halftime first down here from the 35 yard line. Through the middle, another big run. Another big run, okay? I mean, I'm, we're getting sick and tired of hearing that week after week after week. Another big run for the opposing team. I mean, inexcusable. The 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 parting of the Red Sea holes that were there for their running backs to run through. Uh, and if you recall, Jared Goff ran for like 20 yards at one point. Jared Goff is not a scrambler, but somehow he... He goes out there that he's not accounted for on the Packers defense. Um, Joe Barry's got to go. Joe Barry has got to go. And here's the thing. I think that there is going to be change around the corner. I think the Packers can expect to see change. Matt LaFleur is at his wits end. He was interviewed. Here's his press conference. It happens when you have a the cause of first half like that. Where you, just, you couldn't get nothing. I mean, you saw Pete. I mean, we got our ass kicked. If I knew, it wouldn't have happened. Matt, they didn't blitz until... Uh, that's a BS question, man. <laughs> they didn't blitz until the last play of the first half. Um, they sent four or less most of the time. Why couldn't you guys protect, do you think? It wasn't good enough. They whipped us. They manhandled us. They sent three or four guys, and you guys couldn't contain that. Can you explain that? Oh my gosh. And, and, and the offensive line, I don't even want to get into it because the offensive line just absolutely looked abysmal. The only bright spot is that we can hopefully expect to see Jenkins here in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully that changes some things. Newman looked terrible at times. Zach Tom looked, he just got manhandled by Hutchinson for the Lions. Dan Campbell, we're going to kick you in the teeth. That's what the Packers did. I mean, that's what the Lions did to the Packers. They kicked him in the teeth. How are the Packers going to respond? How are they going to pick up the pieces? I think we can expect to see some change coming. Guys, leave your, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think it was the defense? I think it was uh, It was every facet of the football game. You could talk about you know coaching, offensive line, special teams, defense, um, quarterback. You could, you could name a lot of categories there, but here's what it boils down to is the defense. You can't rely on them to come up with a stop at any point in the game. In fact, it's just like, oh my gosh, I, I hope they can hold them to a field goal. Every time the, the opposing team touches the football, that's what I'm thinking. And that's inexcusable. Joe Barry needs to go. Go Pack.